This is Roblox Voice Chat, and it allows you to speak to other people inside of Roblox. Now, as you can imagine, putting a bunch of children together and allowing them to speak online without any filters can lead to a lot of chaos. In fact, it's so risky, I can't do this alone. And that's why I've called in backup. Hello? Oh yeah, but do you think it's safer than type of kids? Nah, it's not really. I've got called multiple slurs. Some people are actually crazy. There's like monsters and stuff on the server. I'm, I'm, I'm frightened for the children. Yeah. Oh, you go eat other people and cook the oh. like well, the doctor is in, and it looks like there's a lot of work that has to be done. Even when people swear, their words will still get through. They'll only receive a warning a couple of seconds later. And even if they get multiple warnings, they may only be banned for a couple of minutes. Next of all, there's always people blasting loud audio, and it's inconvenient for those that don't want to hear it. So here's what I'm going to try fix. I'm going to try and make it so that people can't swear, and I'm going to make it so that people who make loud sounds are also unable to do so. Okay, so if you don't know about OpenAI, you're basically living under a rock. So they have a ton of AI products, and one of them is Whisper, which is a super reliable AI this is the micro machine, man. that this is, is the super good at transcribing different audios into text. So as you can see, it is perfectly transcribed this very quick and not perfect audio, as you can see. Now, when we're working in video games, we want things to be as fast as possible. So, we're going to be using a tool by SIS Sistran. I really hope I'm saying that right. And it's called Faster Whisper, which actually makes Whisper four times faster and uses less memory, which is quite important for us as we want this to be quick and useful. Then, for testing purposes, what I want to happen is I want it to play back the audio to us, and then if it detects anything bad, like too loud sounds or a profanity, we want it to display a message saying that the user has been banned. So, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to set up Faster Whisper and the Python environment, which I'll do right now. Now, CUBLAS is an accelerated library for accelerating AI and HPC ex applications. Basically, it just works a lot faster by using the GPU instead of the CPU, and the GPU is better at maths, and also it's easier for the developers to utilize the GPU. And then we're also going to be using a video CUDNN. In simple words, it just makes everything a lot faster. Okay, and then I'm just going to chuck in the DLLs like that. And then we're going to need FFmpeg for our audio processing. There we go, all like that. Now it's time to create our main.py file and start writing. Okay, great, so now this script should record us and then save that to the file test.wav and it should be wav. Okay, let's give this a whirl. Pip, uh, I mean, sorry, python main.py, let's see. Okay, should say recording any second now. Uh, oh, okay, it looks like there's a mistake here. Should it be, okay, it should be channels, whoopsies. Let's give that a second go. Hello, this is a test of the recording. Um, please work. And let's see. Hello, this is a test of the recording. Um, please work. Okay, and great, it looked like it worked well. So now what we need to try and do is use our faster whisper, which is up here, to transcribe this text. So let's work on that logic. Okay, and now this should work. Okay, and I should probably just say, um, stop recording here. Alright, 
uh, let's give this a go and see if it works. Okay, pi for main dot pi, and let's see. Hello, my name is Cookie Tech, and this is the best video in the world. Okay, and wow, look at that! It perfectly. So, hello, my name is Cookie Tech, and this is the best video in the world. Okay, that's perfect, and it was pretty fast, which is obviously very important when we're working on games. Now what we need to do is we need to repeatedly get the latest recording as we want it to be live transcribing and then we also want it to play it back to us. So let's work on that now. Okay, so let's see if this works now as intended. Also we can delete this dead file here. And let's test. Here we go. So it's going to initialize. Hello, this is a test of hopefully live recording. Um, hello, this is a test of hopefully live recording. Um, I'm going to be continuously speaking and hopefully it approves my messages each um, time. I'm going to be continuously speaking and hopefully it... Okay. Great, so it's working good there. Um, I'm getting cut off at the end of the messages, but I think the way Roblox would implement this is with a press to talk method. So let's now start to work on making sure that loud, annoying audios can't get through, because oh my god, that gets on my nerves so much. And also, before we continue, I'm just going to describe this code quickly. So what we're doing here is we're just importing all of our packages, then here we're defining the model size that we want to use from fast to whisper. Then we're specifying it to use CUDA, which basically means, in simple words, it's going to use our GPU, and this is hopefully going to be a whole lot faster. Then when we're recording audio, basically what we have is we have a sample rate, uh, basically a sample size, and then we can either record in mono or stereo. Um, and then obviously we have how long we're going to record for, and we have our format. Then what we do here is we initialize Pi Audio, and then what we do is we start our stream of audio. So basically this calculates how many samples are going to be taken, and then what it does, basically this is a for loop that's going to run for as many samples as we need. And then what that is going to do is from this stream here, which is provided by Pi Audio, is going to get the chunk which is going to basically be a specific pitch, I believe. And then basically what it's going to do is it's going to add this data into our frames byte string here. Then once this for loop is completed, it's going to stop the stream and it's going to close it. Essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to change this frames byte string to be a numpy array. Then what we're going to do is we're going to write a file called last.wave. We're going to specify the rate and the audio, which is here from our numpy array. And then here what we're going to do is we're going to transcribe the audio from the last.wave file. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to initialize a variable with an empty string. And then for each segment inside of this segments table, which is returned from the transcription, we're going to add to our text. Um, because of the recording length, we should not have multiple segments, but that's all good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add each text from the segment into our text string, up into our text variable up here. And then once again, if the text is not empty, what we're going to do is we're going to play back the file. Also, what we should do is we should just print text here, just so we have a little bit of debugging knowledge. Great. Time to move on to preventing those loud sounds. Okay, great. So what we're now doing here is we're going to use another package from Python, which is called PyLoudNorm, and it's basically going to return how loud the audio is. And then from here, if it's above a certain decibel value, what it's going to do is it's going to theoretically ban the user from voice chat, which in our case is just printing it into the console and then preventing this from running once more. So let's give this a quick run. This is me speaking at a normal volume. This is me speaking at a normal volume. This is me being super annoying in voice chat and annoying everybody. And as you can see, 
the system detects that the user was uh, speaking obviously way too loudly and then what we did is we theoretically banned them. So that's the first thing off our list. What we're doing now is we're banning annoying people who are being way too loud. Next, what we now need to try and do is prevent people from using profanities. Here what I'm using is old profanity check, which is a package or which is a Python package that is going to allow us to which is a package that is going to allow us to detect some profanity. And it's better than all of the other ones because they don't use just a specific word blacklist that can easily be bypassed. So let's install that straight away. Okay, perfect. Okay, what this simple piece of logic does is it detects if there's any profanities inside of this text variable here, and if it believes that the probability of the message being offensive is over 70%, then what it will do is it will theoretically ban our user. So let's give this a whirl. This is me swearing and testing, f you. As you can see, the user was banned for bad language and the audio wasn't played, once again saving another child's ears from the dangerous profanity. So now, as you can see, I've done the god's work and now what I'm doing is I'm protecting all of the children of Roblox against the dangerous Roblox players that are either screaming into their mics, which may damage their youthful ears, or making the ones that are saying bad words, which may get them into the big house way too early. So now that we've done this, we could call it an end, couldn't we? Now, obviously, this code isn't perfect as it wasn't written in a very long time, and Roblox definitely could not use this. And there's a couple of reasons for why. So, first of all, the way we're detecting profanities is not perfect, okay? You, you know the players of Roblox, and you know they're going to easily be able to bypass this filter. And what Roblox would have to maybe do is implement another AI into detecting bad words. Now, Roblox is already doing it pretty well with detecting the swears after and reporting the player, and then if they repeat to do it, and then banning them from voice chat for a couple of minutes. Now, of course, right now, in this current year, it would be pretty difficult to have this live transcription and being able to block it in real time. Because as you can see, with this demo, there's obviously quite a bit of delay when you're speaking, okay? So what we can actually do here is we can import the time package, and we can actually time how long it takes the audio to be transcribed and tested. So let's quickly do that. So we're going to add a start time here, which is going to be time.time, .time, just like this. And then we're going to have the finish time at the very end, uh, just before we play the audio, just like this. And we're going to rename that to finish time. And then we're going to print, just like this, time to transcribe and check. And then we're going to simply just say finish time minus start time. Just like that. So now let's see again how long it takes us for this to work. Hello, this is a test of me recording. Uh, I should probably make it tell me when it's finished recording. Hello, and this is a test see, of me And as you can see, it took about one second for it to complete the message. Now also, annoyingly, it doesn't tell me when it's done recording, which is obviously something I could say, so I could just add another print statement. But obviously, in a real live chat, what happens with this is your messages get trimmed up, and that's really quite annoying. And also, the issue is you have one second latency. So even if we were perfectly having these messages with no cuts or anything like that, there'd still be a one second delay. And when we're programming and gaming, the worst thing we want is delay. And now another thing is having this loudness limit may get innocent people banned. So for example, if you're playing an intense game where the stakes are high, and then all of a sudden you scream, which is completely understandable, you're going to get banned, which is completely unfair. And this program does use quite a lot of GPU power, so this could cost Roblox quite a lot of money. The only way Roblox could really integrate this is to maybe have a push-to-talk system, where maybe it would be working okay-ish. But once again, there's some games where push-to-talk just isn't the best. So for example, we could do a push-to-talk a little bit like this. So let's say, uh, we just say stop recording here. And then for example, let's say we hold down the button now, and we press it now, and we press it now. Okay, I'm holding down the button. Uh, this is me speaking, blah, blah, blah. And then I unpress it now. Button. Okay, I'm holding down the button. Uh, this is me speaking, blah, blah. And you know, it's not actually too bad. So maybe a push-to-talk implementation would work the best. 
But once again, right now this completely wouldn't work for Roblox at the time of speaking. Thank you everybody who tuned in to watch this, I really do appreciate it. Um, a quick message for the parents, or even for the children as a matter of fact. If you're a parent, don't allow your kid to use Roblox voice chat, you've seen how bad it is. And if you're a child, honestly, just turn it off, it's bloody annoying. So thank you everybody for tuning in. If you like content like this, please subscribe it, just to let me know you're liking it. And then also, if you want to talk about Roblox or join my community, join the Discord below or head over to the forums, which is on the forums of the cookie.dev. Thank you everybody for tuning in. That's all from me, and have an excellent night.